All right, hello everybody and welcome back to a sort of different kind of video. It's still gonna be a ranked video, but the way I'm doing this one is I'm going to go into every match. I'm gonna do three games. I'm gonna do one with Cinderace focus, one with Inteleon focus, and one with Rillaboom focus, at least I hope. And we're gonna see how we do. We're gonna compare the starters. Hopefully I'm gonna go like Cinderace, then probably Whimsicott, Togekiss, Tyranitar for one of the games and stuff like that. I don't know which game I'm doing which Pokemon yet because I am kind of just going to play it by ear. Like, for example, Rillaboom is my best thing to deal with, like, Trick Room for the most part. So, we'll see. I also have no guarantee that I'm not going to bring two starters to one game because I'm not going to throw the game just for a little showcase thingy. But, uh, yeah, I want to use all the starters. It's going to be fun. It's going to be sick. But, uh, yeah, this is the team, and I will be back when I get into the first battle. All right, let's get it. So, already I'm seeing a bit of an issue in that they have Sun and they have an Inteleon. So... I'm thinking that this is going to be my Inteleon match? Rillaboom match? Rillaboom could be really good here. However, it kind of struggles with Venusaur a little bit in that case. It also loses to Gudra now that I think about it. <laughs> I'm thinking... I mean, Cinderace could be pretty good here, not gonna lie. Like, Cinderace could deal with a lot of this, the opponent, aside from Inteleon, which he really suffers against. Uh, this is stressful. I'm gonna go Rillaboom, plus Togekiss, and bring Tyranitar on the back, and I think Whimsicott. So this is gonna be my Rillaboom match. Because I'm going to... Uh, I struggle so much with this... With the Gujra. <laughs> eh... Uh, it should be okay. It should be okay. Okay, now that I look at the team again, this may not be the best for the boom match. They do have two really strong poison types, so... Oh, God. I didn't even think about the Toxtricity. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm here to have fun, not try hard. So, if I lose this rank 21,000, by the way, then I'm just going to lose a lot of points and cry over it. So, that's fine. Of course, they do go with the Rillaboom Lee. They're probably going to protect and sludge wave, if I had to guess. Uh, Toxtricity's Air Balloon. That's fine. I'm going to go for the Fake Out into the Toxtricity, and I think I'm going to go for the... Hmm. I wonder if they're G-Max. Oh, that's going to suck if they max. Uh, I have... Mm, this is rough. This is rough, rough. Like, really bad. Like, actually, like pretty bad. I'm going to fake out the Toxtricity. I almost want to switch Togekiss out. I'm going to go into Tyranitar. I'm going to go Tyranitar. And fake out Toxtricity. If they Dynamax Toxtricity here, that's just a yikes from me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a yikes for me. Alright, so what do they do here? Don't- Oh, they maxed. Ah, no, no, no! Oh, that's rough. Alright, I'm playing like a moron already. So, I, uh... Don't think I brought the correct Pokemon to this matchup. Why'd they do that? What do they gain? <laughs> Bro, don't kill my Rillaboom. Don't kill my Rillaboom. I'm a salt busted Rillaboom. I'll eat up a hit. Think I won't. Oh, look at that damage. Oh, crazy. Whoa. Max Airstream? <sighs> Why'd they do that? Seriously? When there was a Togekiss on the field? Bruh. Bruh. Bro, that's sort of whack. Not gonna lie. Okay. Seriously, though? What if I j What? What? Well, I lost because they did that. What? Crazy. Crazy how this works. Crazy how this works. I'm going to protect as they water move me. This has turned into a Tyranitar sweep, my dude. Come at me. They're gonna- they're, they're, Yep, that's what I thought. Let's go. Let's go, gamer. 
Notice how I ate that up, though. Let's go, gamers. This is no longer a Rillaboom battle. <laughs> this is a Tyranitar battle. Hello. <laughs> Alright. That's unfortunate. May have to uh, rethink things a little bit here, not gonna lie. Alright. So... I'm gonna go into Togekiss here and Dynamax Tyranitar. This blows. <laughs> Why did he do... Uh, imagine they follow me turn one and they just grass moved the Inteleon like the basic play would have been. Imagine that. Or imagine this Rillaboom had a ground type move. I should get a ground type move. Might be better. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna follow me. I'm just gonna follow me, and I'm just gonna d kill them. If I'm being honest, uh, do I want to hit Toxtricity or Inteleon? Probably Inteleon because they have Snipe Shot. They might max Guard it here if they have it, but I, at this point, I'm in a rough spot anyway, so I'm just gonna go with what I can do, and we'll see. They also might max Hailstorm into the Togekiss, which is also I can't do much about, so you do you. Ah, ah, oh boy, oh boy. Do I need to do a redemption battle for this? So I'm gonna have to do a redemption battle for Rillaboom. <laughs> I may actually put a ground move on it as well, we'll see. They did go for the Max Geyser. It's gonna hurt a lot if they get a crit, especially. Oh my god. Did they actually just get a crit? No. Togekiss just died, because... Yikes. Um, That did not do a lot, and honestly... Looks like I just hit him with the no U, because I'm about to... I'm about to... I'm about to tailwind up and just... Sweep. But the tailwind up and just sweep. I also special defense boost now from the Sandstorm. Sorry to say, bro, but... Yikes. Yikes. Yikes, indeed. Oh, this is about to be a longer video, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, buddy. Go Whimsicott! It's about to be a longer video, I think. It's fine. It's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I can do long videos every now and then. I, I lost this long. I can't find Okay. Alright. Let's go. What you got? What you bring? I now have a Tyranitar with plus with like basically two dragon dances up. Dynamax, let's go. Fight me. Let's go. Bro? Where'd you go? There we go. Oh Torkoal. Ah! I see. I see what they did there. Where they took my sandstorm away. Wait. Okay, I was like, uh, where'd the drought go? No, it just doesn't happen until after. Okay. Okay, so I am going to hit them with the Tailwind, and I'm going to hit them with the Rock Fall into the Tower Coal. Because Earth Power and Sword Beam are scary. Very, very scary. They also did not protect, meaning they are probably dead. Oh, they're faster than my... Oh. But I lived it. Oh, but I died because of my sandstorm. <laughs> that's fine. I have Tailwind up already, so that's all I really care about. Tyranitar kind of just sweeps from here, so... Yeah, unless they're Sash Torkoal, which they're not. Okay. What are you going to do to me, Toxtricity, bro? Do you got, like, a like a close combat or something? It does not get that. <sighs> Rillaboom let me down. I'm going to blame Rillaboom. Not my fault at all. It's only Rillaboom's fault. Just saying. It's the worst starter, what can I say? You know, it's, it's bad. That's crazy. Crazy how that works. Crazy how that works. Maybe what I'll do is I'll include Rillaboom in a battle with a different starter. That way it's like more fair. Hello, trash. Goodbye, trash. Don't be focused, Sash. Trash. That'd be very annoying. Just saying. Oh. Okay, that might KO me. When I lose my max, that might KO me. I don't think it will, but it might. Alright, they're dead. Welcome to Tyranitar, my friend. Welcome to Tyranitar. This is a Pokemon that's allowed in this game. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad? Tyranitar should get a Gigantamax move. 
a Gigantamax move, but it's the Dark type one. Dark type G Max move for Tyranitar, where it um gets a critical hit every time. Yeah, or it goes through defense boosts. That should be what it. Yeah, it should go through defense boosts. Boom burst. Hey, that's the one move you shouldn't neglect. <laughs> That's the one move you shouldn't have clicked. That's resisted. That was a crit. I was about to say, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. And goodbye. Tyranitar sweep, though? <laughs> Poor Red Boom didn't get a chance to shine. That's unfortunate. That's fine. It's okay. It'll get its chance. It's The Red Boom's actually a shiny that I bred today. I hatched it uh, earlier. And I was like, whoa, it's a shiny. Crazy. And um, now it's... Now it's on my team. Because I, I bottle capped it and leveled it to 100. Okay, so, first game, Rillaboom didn't prove its might against what I was hoping it would- Wait, do I want to check their team? Not really. Ugh. U turn though. Is that for a- Oh, it was G-Max! Is the- Oh, that's also G-Max, okay. Do they have a weakness policy that the u turn was for? Zoom lens. <laughs> I don't think they know what that does. <laughs> Whoops, okay. Pro tip, zoom lens is not a wide lens. They are different items and they work differently. Continue battling. I guess we can see my rank even though it's very bad. But I won that game, so that was cool. Didn't go up. But actually, I went up by a lot more than I thought for a rank 20,000. I guess the rank difference doesn't matter as much in the lower ranks, so that's cool. But uh, I'm going to be back when I get into the next starter battle. All right, it looks like we are fighting a version of Sun. And they also have a Stone Jorner, which is very interesting. And I almost... Ooh, okay, um, this looks like an Inteleon matchup and a half, right? Inteleon, this is its match, but I also think Rillaboom has, a, like, a, options here, so I kind of want to bring it as well. So I think I'm going to bring Inteleon Whimsicott lead. I think. Inteleon Whimsicott lead seems really good to me because it can, uh, tailwind up to hit the Dragapult and stuff, and Togekiss does not taunt Dusclopses, and Gumzikot does. I'm gonna bring Rillaboom in the back because I failed it turn, or battle one, and also it can hit the Inteleon, it can hit the Stone Jordaner, it can hit the Dragapult with Knockoff, it can hit the Dusclops with Knockoff. Knockoff on Dusclops would be phenomenal as well. Um, and, oh, do I want to lead Inteleon though? I think I do. And I'm gonna bring Togekiss in the back as well. Oh, but that, 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 Tyranitar would have been really good here because they are a Sun team, but that's fine. That's fine. I can just change it with Dynamax and Teleon. Easy win. I'm not gonna get the Dynamax my Red Boom today, am I? <laughs> I just I, I spent like three hours breeding this Red Boom today. Oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's fine. Red Boom doesn't need to shine anyway. It is the worst Gen 8 starter. That's a note. The worst starter. All right, other Inteleon friend, how are you today? Maybe they thought I was gonna lead Cinderace plus Togekiss. That would have been. Really bad idea on my part. I guess this could have been a good Cinderace matchup too, but nah. Alright, I'm gonna hit him with that max airstream, and I'm gonna go for the Tailwind. Or do I want to protect the Tailwind? I kind of want to protect the Tailwind. I'm gonna protect the Tailwind. Yeah, let's protect the Tailwind. And then next turn, I can fake tears for extra damage to guarantee the KO, even if they die on an accident leap on. Let's go, gamers. Okay. Biggest brain strategies of 2020. Right here. You don't get them anywhere else. Whoa! What are they doing? That's a Leafeon. It's green. It's a green Pokeball. And, 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 you know, Inteleon can only be in Pokeballs, so I know it's Leafeon. Unless you're a hacker. Are you a hacker? No, I knew it. They also did not switch into their Torkoal. Weird. I wonder what the plan is. Oh, they're gonna air slash me. Bro, they're gonna air slash my Whimsicott. Hey, bro. What if they doubled Whimsicott here? That sure would suck. Does Leafeon get Aerial Ace? Does it? I feel like it should if it doesn't. Nah, probably not. Evolutions don't get coverage. Oh, they- Oh, uh, oh. Oh, no. Whoa! I literally just ran into somebody with a U-turn and Teleon last match. And I'm like, you don't even have a weakness policy, dude. This person does, though. Oh, lord. Torkoal. Oh boy, aren't we in for it? Actually, though, I wouldn't say they're in the best positions right now. <laughs> Max Overgrowth. I'm pretty sure I live. 
Please, Inteleon, please, please live, 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 eat! Oh, no. Oh, no. Dynamax is stupid. <laughs> Dynamax is a stupid, stupid thing. Dynamax is, a, is lame. I hate Dynamax. What just happened to my Inteleon? Well, now how am I supposed to showcase it? Do my stars keep, like, dying turn one? What am I supposed to do? I know what I'm supposed to do. It's time! Hello! Togekiss has arrived on the scene, and I am here to end your life with my defensive Togekiss with a Max Airstream, and I'm gonna go for the fake tears as well. Goodbye, gamer! I'm about to die to this Torkoal. I'm about to die to this Torkoal. Dude, I want my starters to do some work, okay? They ain't doing any work, and it's disappointing, okay? I didn't say the team was good. I didn't say the team was good. I just said that I was using the starters. So technically, I didn't lie yet. I haven't lied yet. I was hoping to make the more use of my starter Pokemon, but clearly that's not what's happening here. Granted, Rillaboom versus Inteleon is a matchup that's happening in this match, so look out for that. It's gonna be great. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Why do they have that? What move does it get? Iron Tail. I guess Iron Tail. Oh boy. Eating it up, Beery Bear. Let's go. But Beery Berry, let's go, gamers. Okay. I'm very energetic today. I just drank some G Fuel. Top tier drink, by the way. Great. I would recommend G Fuel a million times over. Top tier. Let's go, Max Airstream. Goodbye. Notice how you died. Crazy. Whoa. This eruption's about to hurt me. <laughs> Please don't kill me. I should have Max Airstream the Torque. <laughs> I should have hit the Torkoal so it would have been faster than Leafy on next turn. I'm so. Oh. Well, that's nice. Oh, that's fine. I like the part where, I, where they missed my Whimsicott. That was my favorite part. <laughs> okay. So notice how I'm trying to use the starter Pokemon. And the the top tiers are, are the ones carrying. Notice the Tyranitar and the Togekiss are the ones carrying. Yeah, see, that's my problem, right? Because the starters are supposed to be doing the work here, and I don't understand what's going on. Aside from me being pretty bad. But... No, that's about it. I'm just bad. Um... Rillaboom would be having a field bay right now. Uh, it would, indeed. I would love to be using my Rillaboom. Honestly, screw this Torkoal, dude. Screw this Torkoal, dude. ba 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 I wonder if the Inteleon outspeeds my Rillaboom. Probably does. Even in Tailwind? It probably does. Goodbye, Torkoal. So I'm faster than Inteleon. Noted. Look, I'm a, I'm a plus one under Tailwind. Of course I am. Well, plus two now. I want to keep this grassy terrain so Rillaboom can do some work. Ice Beam! Ate it up. Can't freeze me. I'm in the sun and burned. Let's go, gamers. So I could KO Inteleon here. They're probably Focus Ash based on the fact they're a U-turn Pokemon, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Ooh, it's a Dragapult! You waited one second too long for that one, buddy! Max Starfall into you, and I'm also gonna go for a Moonblast because you are clear body, so I cannot fake tears you. Cool! Let's go. Let's go. I really hope Tailwind was still up. I did not check. I did not check if Tailwind was still up. Oh gosh. It is, right? Oh, you punk. You're not a true gamer. A true gamer wouldn't have hid. When I hit turn one, I still took that hit and died for it, okay? So you can die for this, buddy. They also can't KO Whimsicott this turn, so I get four more turns of Tailwind, so. Yeah. Yeah. It do be like that sometimes. Ice Beam, unless they have Ice Shard. Which they could actually have. Don't freeze. Oh, wait, you can't freeze. So, they could have Ice Shard because of the way it's that their team works with the, um, with the, what's it called? Leafeon? How they want to activate the Pulse and Leafeon? They could have Ice Shard. So, oh, wait. I mean, if I want to be really petty, just to make sure. I don't know if Rillaboom can carry from here. 
All my faith in Rillaboom! All my faith in Rillaboom, all my faith in Rillaboom. I'm literally going off the fact that I think they have Ice Shard. <laughs> I'm just going off purely off the fact that I think they have Ice Shard. Because they outspeed Whimsicott. That's entirely what I'm basing this off of. I was also plus two speed, so I would have outsped anyway. I should have just Dazzling Gleam. Whatever. I should have just Dazzling Gleam because I would have outsped the Dragapult. Alright. I thought I lived on 2 HP for a second there. I looked away. Alright. Let's go. It's time for the Rillaboom carry. Are you guys ready for this? Oh. 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 Hey. Hey, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> My game froze. Like, or like, the, the connection, like, like, pause for a second. Okay. It's time for my shiny Rillaboom to go to town. You know, technically this is an Inteleon showcase because look, they have one over there. <laughs> it's doing crazy amounts of work, too. Um... I don't know if I'm faster than Dragapult. Probably not, right? I'm just gonna go for the safe play and hit the Inteleon. And also go for a Moonblast into the Dragapult slot in case they miss fly. I think it can miss, right? Oh, I'm faster. I'm an idiot. Ignore what I just did. That did not happen. Please don't hit me! Really, boom, go! Oh, Dragapult's fast, faster. What the? Whoa! I've never seen that animation before! I've never seen that animation before. Alright, let's go drum beating! Let's go drum beating! Yo! Stop, 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 go! Okay, so. I think Fly can miss. I think Fly can miss. <laughs> Man, I do... I, I think I'm gonna, um... Rebuild this team a little bit and give Rillaboom a ground move if I can get one. And, uh... Also... Speed creep it to outspeed Dragapult if it's under Tailwind because that would be really nice. <laughs> that would be really nice. Oh, they Phantom Force. Oh, you're not fun. Okay. I'm max HP. I wouldn't be shocked if I lived it. That was a super effective fly, which is higher base power. I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty sure I live this, my dude. You messed up. No! Oh, they're life orb. Okay. If they weren't life orb, they wouldn't have KO'd. No chance. Okay. So what I'm discovering here is that all of the starters are bad. At least in Teleon and Rillaboom. However, Cinderace is my favorite starter. So, we're gonna have to play some favoritism here and see what happens. See which one gets the little good check mark in the thumbnail, because I want <laughs> I just want to try out a new thumbnail style that I made. That's all I want. That's entirely like, that's half the reason behind me doing this. I really much want to use my cool new thumbnail that I made because I'm really excited about it. And it, it, we'll, we'll just see. We'll see. I guess we're already in a match. All right. I'm fighting a bunch of low rank scrubs right now, dude. I'm a low rank scrub, so that's made that makes sense. Cinderace! Let's go, gamers. Okay. Cinderace is going to punch that rose right in the neck. Uh, I have no restrictions of what I'm bringing here. I'm bringing stars if I want to bring them because I'm tired of losing matches. So... Cinderace is phenomenal here, but the Intimidate sucks. Okay. The Intimidate's gonna suck. I'm gonna bring, I think, Togekiss Cinderace lead because I outspeed everything except for the Dragapult, and I have Sucker Punch. So I'm gonna go with Togekiss Cinderace. I am a little scared of Milotic's Muddy Water, though. So I'm also gonna bring Rilla Boom to punch a hole in that Milotic, and... Do I think I'm gonna need the speed? I have Sucker Punch. Do I think I'm going to need Tyranitar? Probably. <laughs> I'm probably going to enjoy having it. But I also think that Inteleon's pretty good here. So I'm going to bring it. Actually, no. I'm going to bring Tyranitar. Screw it. Screw you, Inteleon. Screw you. <laughs> Let's go, Cinderace. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, gamers. So my entire my opinions on these Pokemon is entirely hinging off the results of this battle because uh, I've already written off Inteleon as cannot live a plus two. I'm assuming Solar Blade, Dynamax from Alephion through Protect, which implies bad. So yeah, that hurt my soul when that happened. Um, however, I bet you, I bet you Cinderace is gonna carry me this match. Oh wow! Oh wow! 
Oh wow! That sure does suck! <laughs> that sure does suck what they're about to do to my Togekiss. Hmm, I'm gonna try and follow me? Actually, I'm gonna yawn their Togekiss and protect Cinderace. So I think they're gonna fake out Togekiss. Or they're gonna Dynamax their own Togekiss. And either way, I wanna yawn it. So, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Dude, I lost that second match, and it was I'm, I'm so upset because I was so confident that I'd live the Phantom Force. I thought Fly was stronger. I took like half my HP from Fly. So in theory, I would have like lived the Phantom Force, but then I didn't. All right, they do go for the fake out into the Togekiss, so that doesn't matter, okay. Air Slash, that's fine. And now I follow me with Togekiss, and hit him with this big brain, big pyro ball, max flare, boom. Let's go, let's go. Pokemon, let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. I didn't enjoy those games very much. <clears throat> All right, I Dynamax. They probably go for the parting shot, but they're dumb because I go for the follow me and the parting shot, my Togekiss, which is very weak. Let's go, big Cinderace. Let's go, finally Dynamaxing a starter. <laughs> yeah. All right, I would love to use Pyroball in this matchup, but I don't care if it doesn't happen. Am I Dynamax handy? Do I only have 155 HP? Am I Dynamax candy? I'm pretty sure I am. This is my starter, so I, I better be. I look like, like this is the score bunny I picked. This is the score bunny I picked day one in the game. I just, like, golden bottle capped it and stuff. Hey, bro. Hey! Hey! Do some damage before you try and talk to me, buddy. It's a crit kiss, okay. Flare Blitz, goodbye! I'm sorry, Togekiss. Actually, you're bold. Who am I kidding? Huh. Myself, apparently. Oh, that, that would do it. Okay, so that's so many levels of unfair and uncool. However, this is where I bring up my Tyranitar. I thought I brought Whimsicott for some reason. <laughs> I bring up Tyranitar. I change the weather on myself like a moron, which is fine. I actually should have brought out the Rillaboom faked out the Incineroar, attack boosted, and gone from there. But I'm an idiot. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to go ahead and do... I'm going to max Knuckle as well. I'm going to max Knuckle into the Incineroar slot because it'll boost my Tyranitar. Let's go, gamers. This will also fix my attack stat. I don't... I, I'm hoping they don't have a fighting move. Most Incineroars don't run it. They also run slower than Tyranitar anyway, so... Yeah, they... Don't you dare. Yeah, you're crit. You are not gonna burn. Okay. Bye. <laughs> what? What'd they do that for? I may have been overestimating my opponent. Um. All I'm saying is... Cinderace assisted in two kills. Therefore, it's the better starter. That is my analysis here. In all actuality, if, okay, like all seriousness, if I had to rank the starters competitively, number one, Inteleon, number two, could honestly go either way, but I would be more willing to say probably Rillaboom, as much as I hate to say it. I love Cinderace, but I'd probably be willing to say Rillaboom because Fake Out is really good and stuff. I'm gonna crunch you. And I'm going to Max Flare. You. But yeah, I, I think number two could go either way. I, number one is obviously Inteleon. It's just, it's so fast. It's so good. It has such good like move coverage and it's such a good Dynamax Pokemon. does such good damage. It's, it's really good. But the other two I would say could go either way. Once the hidden abilities come out, I would like to say Cinderace, but I know it's just going to be better in singles. So potentially just Rillaboom again because Grassy's terrain is really good. Inteleon will actually probably go down some. They actually max worm with it. Is that Tyranitar? Nope, that's Cinderace. Okay. That lowers my attack, which is really annoying. But I do have Sucker Punch. 
So they can eat a minus one sucker punch from expert belt uh, Cinderace all they want. Also eat this max flare. Later. Oh! Oh boy. Good thing I have my Rilla Boom in the back. Haha. <laughs> don't sleep powder, don't sleep powder, don't do it, don't do it. I hate you, I hate you, miss, miss, miss. Oh! That sucks a lot, dude. I have no guarantee they're not gonna do that same thing to, uh, to Cinderace. Do I just wanna sucker punch the. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Ooh, that big sucks. Like, that mega suck. Um, I'm gonna go for a crunch into the Dragon Bolt. And I'm gonna go for the sucker punch into the. I'm just gonna go for the Pyro Ball. Parsley so I can get the animation. Um, I'm gonna go for the Pyro Ball. Is this really? Is this really the same person that heat waved my Tyranitar in Cinderace? This is the same player. That's the same player that did that. They heat waved my Tyranitar. The same one. This is the same dude that I'm battling. Bro. Well, joke's on you, buddy. Um. Rillaboom is here to carry. Let's go, Rillaboom. Let's go with a boom. I'm gonna cry. Actually, I'm gonna protect if I wake up. There's no point. Um, actually, there is, because the Dynamax will end. I'm gonna protect. And fake out. They're clearly physical, they have fly. So, oh, I woke up, let's go. Sick. You may think you are plus one speed, but when in all actuality, you are dead to my rhythm boom. Yeet, yeet. All right, let's go fake out. All right, <laughs> rhythm boom, picking up a KO. Max airstream, ah, live it. That's what I thought, let's go gamers. And now they have the decision, which Pokemon do they want to die to first? My minus one Tyranitar or my rhythm boom with knockoff? Being honest, I don't think they can kill Tyranitar, so... <laughs> yeah. I do not think they can KO Tyranitar if they tried. However, I am going to go for the knockoff anyway, because you never know. I don't think I'm going to KO in one hit anyway, so they go for Dragon Darts, okay. Please, Rillaboom, survive. No! Rillaboom! They're all bad. All the starters are bad. The only good one is Cinderace. The only good starter is Cinderace, believe it. Now eat that crunch and die. Get out of my sight. What are you doing? You killed my Riddler Boom and my Cinderace. I don't like you. I'm sad. I'm going to try this again one day, I think. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try this again with a different thumbnail and title and stuff like that, probably, because I can't do the same one, and it would, it would be awkward, and people would make fun of me. So, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to try this again, maybe even tomorrow, and we'll see. But without the stupid restriction of I have to only use the Riddler Boom in the first battle. No, screw that. That sucks. I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing that again ever. Bad. Continue battling? No, I'm sad, okay? What am I sad rank looking at? I won the match, but... <sighs> this is a fun team, though. I gotta say, I enjoyed using it. <laughs> it was actually, like, really fun. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it was just enjoyable. Like, overall, an enjoyable experience. That's an okay rank. Alright, well, I am going to call it there. If I had to pick, like, rank the starters based on this video, the only decent one is Cinderace. <laughs> Uh, uh, if I had to rank them overall, Inteleon's the best, Cinderace and Rillaboom are probably tied for a second until the hidden abilities come out, in which case it'll be up in the air based on how it goes in the meta, but we'll see. For now, I'm going to call it there. Thank you everybody for watching it. Comment, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.